Review, 2022 Lucid Air Grand Touring Plays Follow the Leader. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. With 1,050 horsepower at my disposal, the only sounds I hear are the whir of electric motors, the occasional thrum of tires over rough pavement, and the drumbeat of my racing heart as I try to keep pace with the Stig on the twisty Skyline Drive in the San Francisco Hills. Yeah, that's Stig, racer and former Top Gear Hachu Ben Collins. The prodigious power of the 2022 Lucid Air Grand Touring performance helps me keep up with blasts of acceleration between corners, and I'm learning that I can keep up in the corners as well. I'm reluctant at first. Throwing a car that weighs more than two and a half tons into a tight corner can be a recipe for disaster, especially on tires made for low rolling resistance. However, with its low set stance, the Air Grand Touring performance feels serene. In each turn, the front end seems particularly well tied together as the nose responds immediately to the quick ratio 13 to 1 power steering. The air just delivers in the corners, and that builds my confidence. I can feel the weight shift as I enter each turn, and the body lean with it, but then the car takes a set, the 245-35-21 front and 265-35-21 Pirelli P0 summer tires dig in for traction, and the damn thing just carves a true line. No understeer, no oversteer, no bobbling, it just goes where I point it. With its full-size proportions, it would likely be a lot to handle on a tight autocross, but on mountain or canyon roads, it's a champ. Lucid doesn't employ a lot of fancy chassis technology to achieve these results. The Air uses a double wishbone front suspension and a multi-link independent rear suspension with adaptive dampers at all four corners. No air springs, no active anti-roll bars, no rear axle steering. Just well-tuned versions of basic suspension geometry and rack-mounted electric assist power steering. The platform helps, too. The 2022 Lucid Air sits on a skateboard architecture with 22 battery modules set low into the floor. Each battery module is rigid in its own right, and they all come together to make the floor a stiff structural element. In the performance version, they combine for 118 kilowatt hours of electric energy storage, while the standard Grand Touring has 112 kilowatt hours. That's not usable space either. Lucid uses the full capability of its battery packs. The battery also contributes significantly to the car's 5,236 pounds curb weight. While that's heavy for a sedan, it's fairly light for an EV. The comparably sized Mercedes-Benz EQS 580 weighs almost 5,900 pounds with about half the power. To achieve some of these weight savings, Lucid makes the body from aluminum and uses trick engineering to create smaller, lighter powertrain components. Comprised of a rotor, stator, inverter, and differential, each electric motor weighs 163 pounds, 40 less than the motors in the Tesla Model S. Each motor can also produce up to 670 horsepower, and the Air Grand Touring and Grand Touring Performance have one on each axle. In the performance version, they're tuned to produce 1,050 horsepower, 61 less than the Air Dream Edition that the company wanted to keep special for its first 520 customers. It also makes 921 lb-ft of torque. The Grand Touring model spins up only 819 horsepower and 885 lb-ft. Both provide a rush of silly power. It's hard to tell them apart because flooring the throttle creates such violent acceleration in each. The difference? 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds in the performance and 3.0 seconds in the standard Grand Touring. Both can reach 168 miles per hour, and the Grand Touring performance can cover the quarter mile in 10.1 seconds compared to 10.7 seconds for the GT. Those are supercar numbers. The air's power is part of a new surge of electric power pioneered by Tesla and adopted by Rivian, Rimac, and others. The four-figure horsepower is the next step up from the already overpowered Hellcats, GT500S, AMGs, MS that have taken the internal combustion engine to new highs. Compared to those cars, the Air's brand of electric power is both less and more thrilling. The bellow and grunt of churning pistons, which can be so intoxicating when tuned correctly, gives way to a faint whir. 
However, the immediacy of the power and the relentlessness of the acceleration eclipse anything with a gas engine outside of a Bugatti or a handful of other cars from boutique exotics. Full horsepower is only available in the top sprint mode, while smooth and swift modes are limited to a measly 784 horsepower. I'm chasing the Stig in sprint mode with the brake regeneration set to high rather than standard. The combination allows for mostly one-pedal driving that adds an element of finesse to the experience. The crazy power available at anything near full throttle means I can go as fast as I dare from corner to corner. The high Regan applies 0.3G of braking force when I let off the throttle, which lets me slow the car without having to move a foot to the brake pedal. It also lets me balance the car's weight mid-corner with only the throttle. I can add a little maintenance throttle after turn in and before the apex to maintain momentum or I can let off and use Regan to provide trail braking to keep the nose down and help carve the turn. Honing that control can only help improve the handling. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.